here you go. Philip, I don't think we should call this episode Chateau Garden Makeover. Why, what's wrong with it? Well, I think people are going to be expecting something grand. Well, I think it's just planting. Yeah, three camellias. We have to start somewhere. And honestly, I'm going to make it look exciting. What exactly are you thinking? I see an opening with a beautiful music and a drone shot circling slowly around the facade of the chateau in the evening light, the golden hour. Or maybe I come up with something else. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris age 23 to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. One of the reasons for us to buy this chateau was the fact that it is surrounded by 16 acres of grounds. We have an agricultural land here, we have woodlands behind me, and there is gardens in front and at the back of the chateau. Now, it wasn't our plan to start properly restoring these gardens this season, as there is still so much work and spending to do in the chateau itself. But then came YouTube and we created our Patreon page. And thanks to these supporters, last week we were able to buy some plants and to start walking outside here in the garden. So what trees are we planting today, Philip? Oh, Anna, I hear the digger. That's Vincent, he came for the trench for the hedge, you know. The 400 plants that weren't on the list. Yeah, exactly those in front of the longhouse. I think he might be finished. Oh yeah, I, I also told him to flatten that bed at the entrance of the chateau. Hang on. I need to go and save some camellias. Je vais juste vite fait sortir les plantes, ça va prendre. Non, mais ça, ils vont être faciles à sortir. Je pense pas qu'ils sont. Ouais. So we, we quickly need to find a place for those to replant. One more left. He was so fast with the digger, so. A little bit of speed gardening. <sighs> speed gardening. Philip, we need to save the daffodils as well. Yes. Ah. Isn't it ridiculous, Philip, after all this time we spent making that border that we're undoing it again? What do you think Vincent thinks? I don't know, he must think we do everything twice. <laughs> we do. But to explain that to our viewers, we did this bed about a year ago with Vincent's help when we redid the driveway. But then we met a landscape designer and she came up with another idea. So for now, we bring this back to grass and about the other idea, we will do probably a video in the near future.
Unfortunately, we bought the plants before measuring the length of the future hedge, which is silly because obviously you buy the amount of plants to fill the length of the hedge. We didn't really want to buy these plants, it's just we found them and they were such a good price and it reminded us that we have to redo the hedge. So we went for it and I tried to remember how long the hedge was and in my memory it was about 160 meters, wasn't it Anna? That's what we think. Anna, is this something we've done already? Yes, I feel like a little bit of deja vu. Why are we doing this again? That's a good question, Philip. Why are we doing this again? Because we planted the wrong plants. We planted laurel and it turned out that laurel is not at all an indigenous species and not much appreciated by the town hall either. After spending three days with all of our family this time last winter to plant the laurel hedge, we actually got a phone call from our local mayor who kindly asked us if we would mind changing the hedge because laurel is not a native species and is not adding anything to the biodiversity here. So here we are and we're going to plant a hornbeam hedge instead which is going to be beautiful. So this is the moment of truth Philip. Did we remember correctly? Is it 160 meters? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So how much, Anna? 79. What? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Philip, where did you get 160 from? Me? I, you said 160. No, you definitely said 160. Did I? Yeah. I think you said it and then I said it because you said it. <laughs> what are we going to do? We have too many plants. We have loads. Okay. Oh. This is a good lesson. What do they say? Measure three times, plant once. So we have twice as many plants as needed. But you know what? It's better to have too many than not enough. And the first thing you want to do is to bury all the grass patches because you don't want any grass where the hornbeams will grow. Is the plural of hornbeam hornbeams? Hornbeam. I think it's just hornbeam. By the way, Philip, what are we going to do with the laurel hedge that is still planted? Um, well, we keep it for now and then hopefully somebody wants to buy it. We can, or we donate it, I don't know, if anybody wants it. And now it starts raining. But a real gardener doesn't shy away from a bit of rain. Oh, it's raining. The problem with rain is if you wait and with rain the whole trench can collapse and then we did dug out for nothing and we have to start from scratch so I think you have to get on in the rain. But you Anna, you should go inside and continue with your wallpaper. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back inside in the warm. See you later. See you later. By the way, how long is this going to take you? Um, today. The rest of the day. So you think you're going to be able to plant 80 meters? I think so. I was psychologically prepared to plant 160 so 80 should be really quick. Right, I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> oh lovely. It's good. <laughs> so? Yeah I think I'm almost done. Only 76 of 80 meters missing. How many have you put in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten, we should celebrate. How close are you planting them together? This, this close. Which is what? I have no idea, but it looks right, doesn't it? So you're very precise measurements again, I can see. Well, as long as they stick to the same measurements. As long as you stick to the stick. That was a good one. That could be one of my jokes. <laughs> I think you're learning. It's a, it's a catching disease. It's a catching disease. Bad, bad humour. Bad humour. It doesn't look like much right now, but this will be a beautiful hedge one day. What do you mean it doesn't look like much? <laughs> I, spent, I spent two hours to do this. Yeah, but I mean the little uh, hedge, it's, it's a little bare. It's a little, it looks like a little twig that we it just planted. Twig. This is how nature works. You plant a little twig and within a couple of years it will be a beautiful hedge this high and I will be 75. So have you estimated how many you've got to plant, Philip? 
No, that, that would involve higher maths and that's not my thing, but I stick to the stick, like you say, and I think we have certainly enough because we overbought. So, stick to the stick, I can't believe you said that. I should have said that. Why, why didn't I come up with that? So, should I show you how I do? The stick to stick to, then I grab these, and I take the tips off the roots. Now that gesture was just worth 200 comments on YouTube why I'm doing it wrong. It looks like you just planted a little twig in the ground, but it does. one day this will be a beautiful hedge. Wasn't that what you were thinking when you met me for the first time? <laughs> Something I saw, similar. I saw the potential, you were a little bit, a little bit twiggy. When you met me, I was a French twig and now I'm more than anything else, a German oak. No, that doesn't really work. Huh? You're not, you've never been French. Nor German. <laughs> no. Okay, on yeah. to the next one. Honestly, I thought it would be easier given the fact that we had a digger coming in. But it's just as much work to fill the trench up again than to open it up. So I wonder if there wouldn't have been an easier way to do it. Maybe, I don't know, drilling holes with a drill and then just sticking in the twigs. But probably it's really good for them, for the plants to have this big trench so they have a nice soft soil to grow. At least I hope, because otherwise I'm doing all this for nothing. By the way, shouldn't you be working on your wallpaper? Yeah, I am, but I just, you know, wanted to come check up on you, see if you're doing okay. What's your verdict? I think you're doing okay. A little slow, but no. No, you're doing a really good job. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs> now go back to the wallpaper. All right then, I'll see you later. See you later, my love. So when I come back, will this all be finished? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. So, Philip, I put in some reinforcements for Oh, your finally. I hope you would come, Ella. Can you help me? Look, you know what you have to do? You have to take that soil and put it in this trench. Can you do that? Hey, if you're coming just to tell me that it's not the right distance, it's too late. It's too close. No, not again. This time, I'm sure it's not too close. Place. No. My mother. It's well done. It's well done. Oh, yes. This was your job last year, no? It you... was my job. I remember there were many, many hours like this, <laughs> like this, and my back hurt it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I now, remember. And now and we now, have to do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was for nothing. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. No. But. I, uh, I hope that this will go better and these are the right plants. I hope so, yeah. Hildegard. I yeah, hope yeah. we don't have to do it for a third time. Yeah. <laughs> but all good things are three. All good so things are this three. This is the second. Oh, and no. <laughs> <laughs> the next time is you who has to put them, to plant them. Next time the it's me. The first time I was it, now Philip, and the next time is, is you. Oh, God. <laughs> to, oh, no. With Ella. <laughs> The wind! The wind is going back away! Yeah. Oh no, did it blow it away?
Now, after getting rid of the bed at the entrance of the chateau, we are left with a couple of homeless plants. We have three camellias and three hydrangeas, and I think I found the perfect spot for the camellias. And that will be here, right beneath this tree. And I think they will love it there because they get a little bit of sun, but then there's also shadow. And it will just be lovely to walk there in the early spring and see these red pink flowers. So before I can plant them, I need to do a little bit of clearing up with my new favorite boy toy. Now this, I think, was a perfect example that there is no such thing as a small job in a chateau. I came here to plant three camellias and I ended up several hours clearing this area. But I think and I hope that all these efforts will eventually turn our grounds into a beautiful chateau garden. Now I cleaned most of this area, I still need to take the leaves away with a rake before I plant the camellias, but I'm happy with it. And I left the tree trunk, it doesn't bother me, it's not in the way, and a rotten tree is always a nice place for insects and all kinds of beasts to hide. And this is the trailer. Look at that! What do you think? You've done so much! It looks great! Well, each time you do something, we open up a new perspective and I think that makes it so much nicer here. Yeah, but I can't believe how much you've cleared. <laughs> that was just underneath one tree. Yeah, but it's really exciting because just doing that clearing, it already looks so much better, doesn't it? It does. But what do you need to do now? I need to plant the camellias, but I want your advice because I don't want to plant them and then like it happened before with apple trees, planting them again. <laughs> despite, yeah. despite having a new chateau motto, doing everything twice, I wanted to avoid that this time. But I feel like you've already got a plan, haven't you? Yes, of course I have, but I want to make it look like you have a word to say. <laughs> That's very kind, so... It's like when you ask me my opinion on color choices, Anna. <laughs> yeah, well, I know the garden is your domain, so um, I'll let you have this one. Where do you want to put them? Here they are, our homeless plants. So what do you think? Here. And on here. Are you just going for sort of randomly placed? Yes, not in a row, never in a row, as we learned from our consultant. And I'm, not, I'm probably not too close to the tree. And maybe not too close to each other, like the apple and pear tree. Yeah. Well, even though these are camellias, so they probably, they, they could be a bit closer because they, they can almost form then like a... A bush. A bush. That sounds nice. Maybe instead of being here, maybe this is a bit random. Maybe it could be a bit further, like something like here. Or is it too triangular? I don't know, I'm... I don't know either. We need a consultant back for, for every plant now. But Philip, I from mean, nothing's stopping us from, you know, planting them and then moving them in a couple of years. 
if they're not in the right place, right? Or in five days, as we do in the usual. <laughs> now from here, suddenly everything makes sense. I think they have one has to be here, one here, and one a bit further down, nearer to that other tree. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I don't know. I was sure five seconds ago, and I have doubts again. Maybe what we really have to do is to go crazy and plant one here. I think that's a good, good work. No? Here. I think we just need to make a decision. It just doesn't, doesn't look right here. No. Because this is, this is a beautiful pathway. And now it doesn't look much, but once the What's the name of this? Wild garlic. Once the wild garlic is in flower, we usually cut a way through, a pathway through, and it looks just beautiful. You will see that in a couple of months. And it's actually a very good plant to eat. We make pesto out of it. You use it basically as you would use basil. It has the flavor of garlic, so you don't need to use any garlic. But other than that, you just make a normal pesto and you use these. And we have tons of that. And that's why for many months, we only eat pesto pasta. <laughs> it's my favorite and the girls. So we're very happy. Yeah, but the girls like the industrial one. <laughs> no, the real thing that comes from a jar. Right, Philip, we need to make a decision. Yeah, we do. Otherwise, we'll be here at midnight planting them. And if you plant one more there? No, I think keep them here. Keep them here. I, I mean, I quite liked the idea of maybe, yeah, maybe one there. It, it seemed so obvious for me that that's the right spot. And I still think it's the right spot. But we have three, and I don't, if it was only one, I would just put it here. But it's nicer to have many of them, many of the same. But where do you place them? Oh, it's only six o'clock in the evening, and we only have 20 more plants to plant, so it's fine. <laughs> in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> no, Philip. Can't well, I don't, why not? In the middle? No. I don't know, I still don't know. What are you looking for, Philip? I googled camellia. Maybe I can see a garden with a camellia placement idea. And all those pictures, they're quite isolated. And I think what I had in my mind was something more like a rhododendron, a plant that would grow and fill a space. And here, they're more like single plants. So maybe we just have to change our mindset and imagine something more, more individual more st stronger and, and, and more as a statement plant somewhere instead of something that blends into the landscape. Maybe that means that we don't need them to plant all together. Maybe they can be in very different areas. Okay. Which makes it much easier because I will definitely one there and the other two so I can just find a space somewhere in the, in the woods. What do you think? <sighs> Fell up. So we just need one here. Let's, let's pick the nicest one. I think this one, this one is the nicest one. So I would plant this one. Um, if there was only one, where would you plant it? Just there, where you are. Here? Here? Yeah. That's far away. Okay. I don't know, just, just put it somewhere. I think you're not on it anymore. <laughs> I just want you to plant them. Okay. Here? Mm-hmm. All right. Why, why did I even bother to clear up around the tree if you're planting so far away from the tree? Found a bone. It's really nice soil everywhere here. So I think it's, it's going to be happy here. I think so. I make a little ring around it without grass and then I put some mulch on top of it and then or before I give it as Monte Dono always says a really good soak and then you have a shot a yummy shot with water okay one in two more to go look I'm happy our first replanted camellia good 
Good. Right, let's go. Go and do the others then. Yep. Where? I don't know. Philip, I'm getting a bit cold and I've got to go and sort dinner out for the girls. So I think I'll just leave you to it. I trust that you'll find somewhere nice for them. All right, but that means that you can't protest afterwards. No, um, right? I'm happy with wherever you want to plant them. In other words, you don't care. Bye. Philip, I've had an idea. That's why you called me back. I was in the middle of the forest. Yeah, I think we should plant one here. Here? Yeah. All right. Because I think it would be really nice. Look, there's the, the other one that's behind you over there. Yes. And I think this would be really nice just here on the edge of the driveway. I agree. And it's some, it, it, it respects the rule of always walking through your planting and not walking aside. Yeah. Yes. And it would add a little bit of color here. So it's a very good idea. I've I think somewhere maybe not, not I mean, it, it might grow. So we want it probably to be here. Yeah, but not in the pathway. Yeah, but also not on, this, not on the road. That's yes. close to the road. No, exactly. Yeah. Here. All right. Why did you come up with this idea when I was in the middle of the forest? And well, I just was leaving and then I thought, oh, that would look good. Like this. Is it not too close to the hedge? Yeah, but the hedge, I will cut the hedge soon. Okay. And then this can grow into the hedge. Ah. Yeah. I like that. Look what I found, the top of a tiny bottle. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That looks old. That looks really old. Do you think it was a, a Calvados bottle? I think it looks more like a bottle containing medicine or poison. Who knows what happened to the couples living here before us. If you enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching